Welcome to the tour of Hopuli, New Pass Learning Management System. This will be the main place for you to find all of the details for the New Pass program and courses. When you log into Populi, you will automatically arrive at the home page. On this page, you will see the alert section, which will show you any alerts from your current courses, such as feedback from your instructor. And then below, you will see student policies that reference info about any course or student matters. On the upper right, you'll see all of the events or assignments happening for the week. And below this area are the current courses that you're enrolled in. Beyond the Dashboard tab, you'll notice that you also have a To-Dos, Groups, and Links tab. Most people do not use these areas, so you'll want to focus on the Dashboard as this is the main section to review. In the upper navigation bar, you can click on the My Profile tab to see information that pertains to you, such as your contact info. The Student tab will show you the courses that you're currently enrolled and completing. And the Financial tab will allow you to view your financial info, if applicable. At times, students and instructors may post on your bulletin board so you can see and respond to those messages here. We do encourage everyone to upload a photo to their profile so that your peers and instructors will be able to put a face to the name. To add your picture, simply click on the image icon. You can drag and drop an image into the box or you can click to choose to add your photo from a folder on your computer. Select Save to upload your photo to your profile and then you'll be all set. If you click on the My Courses tab in the main navigation bar, you'll see a list of your current courses. The Directory tab will show a list of the staff, faculty, students, and alumni of New Pass. Within the My Courses section, you will see the courses that you'll be completing. The New Pass 110 Foundations and in Information Technology course will be the first course that almost every student will start with in the New Pass program. To access your first course, simply click on the blue course name and it will open up that course for you. Again, you'll see that you have a dashboard along with alerts and the bulletin board. In this area, you can type a message to the entire class to see and sometimes your instructors and peers will also add info in this area. In the upper right section, you can find the status of your current course, your overall grade, and the last day that you were logged into the course. In the lower right, you will see all of the assignments scheduled for the week. Within the syllabus section, you will see the course info and dates along with the instructor for the course. By the way, if you need to contact your instructor, you can always click the send email link and this will send a message to your instructor. Below you will see the syllabus for the course. The syllabus is your map and guide to the course. You will have a similar syllabus for every single course in the New Pass program. And in here you'll find all the requirements for the course and the program, such as attendance and testing requirements. As you review this document, you will find the weekly agendas per course week. Each course week opens on Sunday at 12 a.m. and closes Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Within the weekly agenda, you will see the dates for the week, and then below that, you'll see the learner objectives. In the first orange column, you'll find the modules that you need to read and all of the assignments that are due by Tuesday at 4 p.m. You'll need to explore and discover some of this content before you even come to your first class so that you can be prepared for the sessions to be able to share and gain knowledge. The lower portion of this column shows the various practice exams and quizzes that you'll do each week. Use those practice tests to prepare for the certification exam. Try to increase your score each time you take the exam and decrease the time it takes you to complete it. The center blue column shows the topics that will be covered during the weekly instructor-led sessions. Most classes will have sessions Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings, while a few high school classes will only have sessions one day a week. The green column on the far right shows all of the assignments due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Use the weekly syllabus agendas to set your goals for the week. Those students who set up regular study sessions and goals do very well in the program, so keep this in mind as you start your first course. Beyond the syllabus, you'll also notice a list of supplies, links, and files on the right that may be helpful as you're going through the course. And the next section that I want to cover is the Lessons tab. This is by far the most important area that you need to use in Populi. In this area, you will see the lesson content and assignment directions for each week of the course. 
To begin, every course will always have a getting started lesson. In this lesson, you'll find the topics and tasks to review for the overall course. In most courses, the first task on the list will involve completing a practice test. On the right, you'll find the page with the steps to complete this test. You'll notice that some of these pages have locks. These pages will unlock as soon as you click on the page above it. Below the pages, you'll find the Assignments and Files tabs. The assignment for this lesson references the CERT Master Practice Test that we asked you to complete at the beginning of the course. And the Files tab shows you the document that is right here on this page. Now, if you go to the Files tab, you'll see all of the files located throughout the course. But all of these files are actually located with their corresponding directions and content in the lesson. So you really want to focus on the Lessons tab for locating the files. Now each lesson is separated per week in every course throughout the program. So if we click on the Week 1 lesson, you will see the first page shown is the Week at a Glance, or the Agenda for the Week. This is the same agenda that's provided in the syllabus. All of the directions for completing the Assignments Due by Tuesday are located on the Assignments Due Tuesday at 4 p.m. page. If you click on this page and you scroll through the content, you will see the directions for every assignment. If you click Next Page at the lower portion of the page, it will direct you to the next page, which just happens to be the Assignments Due at 11.59 p.m. If you scroll down this page, you will see all of the directions for the Assignments Due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. And you could click on the next page or you can click on the page in the upper right navigation bar. And this leads us to the instructor-led session info for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Again, below you'll see that you have a tab for the assignments, discussions, and files located in this lesson. If we go back to the Assignments Due Tuesday and look at the first assignment, you will see the directions to complete this assignment, and below it, you will see a link to click on to upload your completed document. When you click on this link, it will take you directly to the submission area. Here, you can drag and drop a file, or you can click to choose a file to upload for this assignment drop box. On the right, you will see the total points that can be awarded for this assignment. When the instructor provides a grade, it'll appear here. And if they provide feedback, it'll be in the comment area below. For instance, if we jump into the future to show you the first assignment that was graded, you will see on the assignment page, there's a blue dot to the left of the first assignment because you received a grade and feedback from the instructor. If you click on the name of the assignment, it will open and you'll see that this assignment received the full 25 points and the instructor left a short comment below. Now, if we go back to the assignments page, you'll see that there's now a check mark to the left of that assignment name, showing that the assignment has been completed. On the far right, you'll be able to see the grade you received for each assignment. And if you click on the dashboard, you will see the overall grade for the course is 80% and this student is passing the course. Moving on, if we go to the Discussions page, you will see all of the discussion forums due this week. However, links to the discussions are also located in each lesson with their corresponding directions. So you'll want to start at the lesson and then go to the discussion area. If you click on the calendar link, you will find you can see all of the assignments due in a calendar view. And when you select the roster link, you'll see all of your peers in the course. Now, if you click on the test link, you will see all the tests that are due for week one. Links to these tests are also located in the lesson content for each week. When you click on the red Take Now link, you will be directed to the page showing the parameters for the exam. To begin, click the Start Test button. Most tests will be multiple choice and you can click on the answer that you believe is correct. I'm not going to answer all these questions, but if you scroll down to complete the additional questions, you'll see the Submit Test button at the bottom of the page. Click this button to finalize the test, and then you will see your results. To go back to your weekly lessons, click on the Go to Week 1 link on the right side of the page, and you'll be directed back to the weekly lesson. Each week, your new course content will be released on Sunday at 12 a.m. If we look down the lower portion of the page, you'll see the Join the Zoom instructor-led session. This lesson will house the link to join the weekly online sessions. This link will never change, so you can get to it within this lesson or you can bookmark it. You will also have the same lesson in every course that you take in the NewPass program, so you never have to worry about losing this link. 
If you select the next lesson link at the lower portion of the page, it will take you to the last lesson titled Instructor-Led Session Recordings. All the weekly sessions are recorded, and when the recording link is processed, it will be available within this lesson. So you can always go back to review any content covered during the sessions. You will also find this same lesson in every course that you take. So you'll always know where to find the session recordings. Again, the Lessons tab will be your most important place to find all of the directions and information needed to successfully complete the course and the New Pass program. I hope this helps to give you a brief view of how to navigate through the course content on Populi.